Of course, we are continuing to follow the response to the state's mascot mandate. And districts are getting set for summer break. School's almost out. And some already are done with school. We're getting a better understanding of what names, mascots, and imagery won't be around come the fall. Several school districts, including Glens Falls, Corinth, and Schoharie, have all changed their mascots already from indigenous imagery to unassociated names, things like the Hawks or the Storm. Two other districts, Mechanicville and Mahonison, still in the process of changing mascots. One school administrator explains his frustration with the process. To have this amount of, you know, force on districts really um, stresses them out um, in a community like ours, in a district like ours, when our focus isn't on mascots, it's on kids and mental health and supporting our students um, in every way possible to facilitate their success. Mechanicville is having a meeting later today to adopt a resolution to begin the changes. School districts must eliminate the use of Native American mascots by 2025.